You can hear that truck from a mile away. That's our special guest today. What's up, Mark? Long time no see. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, man, looks like you got you a... Uh, oh, you used car lot? Used car lot, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a special guest here today with us. He's covering the camera lens. We have a special guest with us today. We got Mark. What's uh, up, everybody? We're installing the fog, fog bumper today, and well, we've done it on his truck before, so now I'm gonna need his help installing it on my truck. And uh, you know, we've done it, so we know what we're doing, I think. <laughs> so, first things first is what I'm gonna do is just remove this whole entire front end, basically. Uh, the grill, this gotta go. And when I talked to Nathan at uh, SEMA, he was telling me that. I have to cut this little plastic piece that's under the headlight for the bumper to sit flush. Should we go ahead and put the... We can do that last, right? The fog light insert over there? The insert? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can do those last. Okay. Because you need to install, you have the fog lights? Yeah. Yeah, we could, um, that's how I did mine. They'll, they'll fit right in. So we can just bolt on the bumper first and then just work on that, work on that. That's later. right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, we need to put, yeah, because all this will go on last. So we'll, I think the steps me and you went through were, we got it, got the bumper off, yep. lined the frame part up, yep. so-called, and then we put the bumper on me and you adjusted it, yeah, and then I put those in. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're So here's what we've done so far. We removed the front grill. It's pretty easy. It's um, you undo the 10 millimeters that are on top, two, three, four, and then unclip it, and the whole bumper comes out, or the whole grill comes out. Uh, you do have to use what is this? A seven millimeter. You do have to use a seven millimeter. Unscrew these right here because that's what's holding that plastic piece. Once you undo that, you can just pull it apart. It'll look like this. It'll look like that. And to remove the grill from that plastic piece, all you have to do is push the tabs in and then just slide everything out. So it's pretty simple. It took about 15 minutes. And now we're trying to get the factory bumper off. I would say that's probably the hardest part is removing the factory bumper because the way fog bumper goes on is super easy and simple. If you have a 2011 2500 GMC version, which is a little bit different than Mark's for the most part, it's the same. Actually, it's actually pretty identical. Identical, yeah. Once you get the grill off and the lower plastic piece off, um, there's two. There's a bolt here, bolt here. I think there are 21. Right, there were 21. 21, yeah. And then these on the side were? 21s. 21s. And then you, after that, for my truck, you have to, there is one more that's kind of like on the fog light housing. Where is that at? Right there. Yeah. Right, yep, yeah, right there. That one was, what size was that one? That was the, uh, that was the 16. So 16, 21. So that's all you need to uh, remove the bumper. We got to do that side, and then we'll do. Uh, we'll, we just need to pull it out, and the bumper is removed.
Yep. Turns up. This or no, the other way. Yeah, because that lip sits on top. The bottom. Yeah. Look at me, you had it right. I said it's obvious, you hear me? <laughs> <Another bottom. laughs> How's yours? We can line it up from there. If you take that off, that'll go through there. Yeah, but that's what's going to fit. That's what's going to um, wedge itself in there. It may have to just make the yeah, hole a little bit bigger. Yeah, but you can make it stick. Yeah. Yeah, or, yeah, you can make the inside make the of that bigger. That, that bigger, yeah. and then, work. On the plastic piece, mm -hmm. yeah, because they're all plastic. You can just round it out where that'll go in there. That's cool. Hey, and what I do is, um, if you want, go buy one of the big, you know, drill, drill bits. Bit. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about is doing that on the front bumper where they had drilled out the holes for the pocket parking sensors. And I ordered these LED amber lights, which would fit in there perfectly but these are a little too small, so I need to buy like a rubber grommet or that little plastic piece that goes on the factory bumper. All right, so on the GMC trucks, we're gonna have this thing, this little plastic piece that's gonna be holding in your fender liner. Well, it won't fit. The flog bumper won't fit with this plastic piece, so we're gonna remove it. It's pretty easy. There's two, two, what? Two right there, and then right up yep. here and then one right here so you unscrew those and this just comes right out now obviously you're gonna have to pop those plastic pieces from the fender liner to separate them one. Yep, and they're all 10 millimeters so Pretty easy. Oh, we don't have to do that one. No. Nope. But that one just not. Yep, up. it's up. Here we go. Yeah. Pops out, but we're gonna have to remove that first. Yep. Let me get the flat here. And then I guess once we get the bumper, we'll find a way to attach this part mm -hmm. to the bumper, which should be fairly easy. I'm hoping because my fender liner's already been cut, that it won't show under my flog bumper. But if it does show, we're just going to have to follow the line and cut it. Oh, hey, Mark. What's up? What's up? What you doing there? Oh, ho, ho. yes, sir. Putting it all together. All right, we're going to do a test fit. Can you do the honors and record us to the test fit? Sure. So fog bumper is pretty light enough that just two people can lift it up. You're gonna have to. There you go. Yours is behind. Let me get. I am behind. Is it behind? Yeah, a little so bit. Right. I don't want to scratch out. I think you're good there if you want to take it up. Okay. You good, JW? Okay. That's a lot of gas. Ooh. Right? That's a lot of gap. That's a big gap. That's a lot huge. of gap, boys. Bolt it up or something? Well, you ain't going to get too much out of it. I mean, you're sitting down, but you're not sitting down that far. Oh, yeah, that's as far as it's going to get. Hold on. You gotta, you're going to have to go up a little bit. Let's see. Hold on. I do not want to. Oh, my gosh, man. Need to wait to pin this back or something. It'll be, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be on the inside of it. Good God, bro. That's no way. That's like four inches. I mean, once you suck that in, though, look at how far off the bolt you are down there. Yeah. So once you suck that bottom bolt in, it should pull that up. Take but that. it's not gonna it's not gonna give you this gap fixed. No, this it'll fix that gap, but it won't we'll fix we'll this see. gap. Oh, this needs to be on the outside. This 
this liner's catching. Should I just cut this liner? You're gonna have to do something. That's what I tell you. I see. I think right, mine we're gonna take a in. temporary uh, break. Let me get my Quick commercial break. Commercial break. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> I was a little scared because there was a lot of gap, like that much gap. But once you bolt it on straight on, pull it up and mount it. Yeah, once you bolt it on there straight on, pull it up, mount it. I mean, not too much gap. I mean, obviously, you're going to get this much, but we can still pull it up to where we get very minimal gap. But man, that looks killer. That's amazing. And uh, that black. I mean, it looks, it looks, it looks good. It blends in with my factory black. All right, now that you guys have locked up, I'm gonna get the rest of this grill put together. All right. Because it's yeah. gonna go on. Hey, Mark, you're right. It's, once you cut it, it slides it's right it's in. It's sitting behind, yeah. yeah. See, now this is where Dude, I'm you were right for once. High five. Yeah, yeah without cutting any more, you don't even have to touch it, JW. Yeah. Because look, that's how I cut mine. See, yours is oh, already that is cut. perfect. So right there is where I oh, just cleaned man. it. So that's, that's good. I wouldn't touch it. Like that accidentally lined up perfectly. There was no accident. It was, it was planned two years ago when. And we, we still got room, yeah. Not cut more out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing you just see right in there. Yeah. But that ain't forcing us to. To mm -hmm. like you said, you get ready to get that on there. Yep. Cause look, if you look right here, see we still got room to go up because we're kind of yep. sitting halfway on that. Once we get it up under there, it's still going. It'll close that gap. Yep. I just don't know where this is on that. So we didn't show you guys. We just went to Lowe's not too long ago, bought a couple of tools and bought some uh, sandpapers so that way we can polish the the hook. Oh, oh. the hook's going on there too. Nice nuts. I'm like a kangaroo. Keep all my babies in my pouch. Side. He's only got one bone in there. You got a tape measure? No. I can put a tape measure on it. Back them off. I'm going to push it over just a hair. It's all the way up against the thing, ain't it? Like the holes? It's all the way up against the holes. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing we can do. It's the way that it's built. Are those metal? Yeah, because this side is way mm -hmm. And it won't go that way at all? This one. Take it all the way and put it all the way. Take that bottom one all the way and put it all the way. Bumper itself, it's centered, I think. No? Did they kick the metal? Maybe the bend? You don't know if the no, bend is. Not. Look at it on the headlight. Yeah. Versus on the headlight over here. So it needs to go this way. It way. needs to go, it that, needs way. To go that way. There was no room for the circle to move in the circle, in the hole. Uh, if we do, we're gonna have to maybe drop it slightly down. Pull back all of them off, but not off. Yeah. And go move me and Mark will hold each side and just shove the whole thing over. And then we'll and just it tighten it right up. Let's yeah. try that. I mean. Another issue that we're running into is our bumper is catching on this little piece right here on the grill. So we're gonna have to cut that off. And that should be it. Yeah, cut this off.
cut that off and the bumper should slide in because that's what was kind of keeping it from going in and sitting properly but yeah other than that i mean there's a lot of stuff to kind of cut but it'll be worth it in the end it'll look better than mark's right mark that's right <laughs> That's, that's a, that's it's a decent pretty size, yeah. similar. Yeah. See, I got that rubber piece in there. That is oh, pretty, okay. that's a pretty big gap. And look, look how far mine sticks out. Look over here. See it? Yeah. I mean, that's a good inch. Come look on this side. Now, we're not quite, I mean, I could go over a little bit, but you see, oh, it's that's about right. to say, Yeah. Now that I'm looking at it, you see, that's a gap. You got a rubber piece in here. My lights come, this truck comes like that. Uh -huh. He could he could put one. Well, mine connects. This gap right over here is higher than over there. On this side. Think so? I know so. My hand is under this side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah, if you look here too. Yeah. The, see the gap here. The gap here. Yeah. You can. Now so, could yours go up? I don't know. When me and him put it on there, I left it. Guess what? No one said anything. Now just saying it because I do remember I said this could move over a little bit. Mm -hmm. So technically, this is about flush. And look at this with JW. I got about the same thing. It's sticking out. So, so I guess it's a flawed thing where <laughs> the left one sticks out more than the right one. I'm assuming. I don't know if we can move it or not. We never tried because remember I yeah. told you I thought it was out a little bit. Big difference. It comes up. Yeah, it came Because my stock bumper was just like this. The stock bumper had a gap. Yeah. But see, we're throwing his off. His stock bumper was flush, yeah, so was he's not flush. used to that. You're right. Yeah, his was dead flush. It was. Mine, mine always has a gap. That's true. I didn't think about that. My, I mean, all Chevrolets have a gap. Yep. But yours had the molded front bumper. Yep. It was just it's this plastic piece that what made it sit perfectly with the headlight. Flush with the front. Yeah. Wow, that looks killer. I like it. Yeah. That looks good. What did y'all do? Before Mark heads out, I'm going to go to get a picture even though we're not finished. Not 100%. Things that we still need to do this week would be the hooks. It's in the process of getting polished right now. And I got to figure out how to do the pods on there. Um, he left my pods at your house. Well, what had happened was I gave those pods to Kenneth about a year ago. And then Kenneth, Kenneth gave those pods to him. And then now he's going to give me the pods back to me. So it's a full circle. Eventually it makes it back exactly. to where it's supposed to be. Yeah. You give and take. And uh, so we got to do that. But Mark's got to go we gotta home. got to order the sensors. Yes, we got to order the sensors. So we can put the amber lights in it. That'll look really killer. Yep. So, But Mark's got to go home. So before he heads out, I want to get a picture with him. So, All right, guys. Here we have it. Fog bumper is finally on the truck. Only thing we're missing is the is the cooks, cooks is the hooks as well as the fog light insert. Deuces. Painters tape. Painters tape. There we have it. See how small? Yeah. Yeah. How massive your bumper is. My bumper is kind of massive. You got that piece of it. Yep. Oh man, you can really see all of them McGoys. Kind of looks like I have a, a body lift or something. Yeah? I'm not kidding. When you look, you get more of the tire now. Yeah. Hmm. See, the bottom is there. The yeah. bottom is the same line, but you're, yours is just up. My bottom is really exposed. I don't know if I kind of like that. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. You don't like that? I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, a little close up. So we have the exact same bumper, basically. Mark's got the hooks, uh, and obviously the fog lights or the fogs are in there. That's what I'm missing. I, I got to get the fog lights from Merck's house, and then we got to finish polishing up the hooks. But other than that, we are good to go. Leave a comment below on what you guys think. So that is really it for this video. Mark's gotta go home. Uh, Merck's gotta go home. I gotta go to, uh, go to dinner plan. So that is it for this video. This is where we're gonna end it. But make sure to hit that subscribe button and 
hit the notification bell because you guys have to watch the video where I finish putting on all the stuff for the fog bumper. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reveal it. Whoops. I'm gonna reveal the bumper at the show. At the at the show on December 14th. If you guys don't know, we're having an auto show. It's a, it's Toys for Tots auto show on December 14th. It'll be in Augusta, Georgia. And I will put the link in the description below on where you can get all the information. Or actually, I'll put the flyer uh, up right now. But it'll be December 14th, Toys for Tots. And it'll be in Augusta, Georgia. We got Dalton coming. We have Matthew with the uh, white Duramax on 40s. We got that white bow tie coming. We got Mark coming. Just a lot of people are coming. It's going to be an awesome time. I'm trying to gather a lot of toys. We need, there is 42,000 kids who need toys this year. So that's our goal. Hopefully we can get 42,000 toys. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be legit. But anyway, we're going to be revealing the Tahoe and I guess my finished product of the flog bumper at the show. So you get your first peek at the show. If you want to see it come, uh, I'll probably do a video uh, and I'll reveal it. Um, and then I guess I'll make a video on revealing the fog lights and the Tahoe build after the show, probably on Sunday if I have time to edit. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future Duramax content related to the LML or the LOY build. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.